We were talking a little bit, Taz. Hello. Welcome. Thank you very much. Uh, there's a strap. There's a strap. We have to stand on the strap. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. Thank you for having me. So, W Series. Yes. International, 10th overall in a championship. Who would have thought, beginning of, it's this year, beginning of this year, you were a Polo Cup driver. Now, you're looking at going into, you've got a job for next year. Yeah, so because I finished 10th in the championship, I get an automatic return into next year. So I'm really excited about that. Um, this year was actually really tough and um, really challenging. But I learned a lot throughout the year. And obviously racing with those girls who have been doing it for so long, they, they taught me a lot. And I'm just excited to get back there again. And uh, there's your car. It is so, so cool. What was your favorite? Uh, each race you change colors. What is your favorite color car? Um, I like the pink car. Uh, sort of went with my, my helmet, um, but I did actually quite fancy this purple car as well. You, a big learning curve, you've driven single seaters before, but in a world far, far away. What was the big thing for you, um, what is the biggest, uh, biggest learning moment for you? Um, well, getting from the front wheel drive polo that I've been doing for the last six years, getting back into a single seater. Um, the biggest thing was not just the rear wheel drive, but learning to trust the, the downforce of the car. So that was where I struggled the most um, throughout the season. Not in the flat out fast stuff, because it was flat, you knew it was flat, but at more medium to high speed stuff where you had to brake a little bit and then just enter as fast as you could. So I was actually just over slowing down the car um, a little bit too much and just getting your mind around that and being able to trust the downforce of the car into the corner. Um, that was where I needed to get my my bearings a little bit and yeah it got better throughout the season but obviously next year there's still some more work to get done but almost in a confusing moment you went from the w series and volkswagen took you to india yes. and you drilled them in india in their version of a polo yeah well um Front wheel drive is like where I'm most comfortable at since I've been doing it for so long. Um, single seaters was a really, really long time ago and so to get my bearings in that again and to adjust to that was quite challenging um, and I still haven't come to grips with it just yet. So I'm looking forward to getting back in the car next year. We're going to try and do some testing before we get into the, the racing season um, just to try and get onto where we ended off, you know. Um, obviously we don't have anything like that here in South Africa for me to test, which is unfortunate. Um, but yeah, I think getting back into the front wheel drive in India was a lot of fun and there was no pressure on me as well so I could just go out and enjoy it and enjoy the track and everyone was just so amazing there. Um, and then I raced Kilani last weekend but that was <laughs> as good as I expected it to be. Um, but yeah. There's always that risk when you come back to South Africa and you, you put yourself into a, a car that you've done well in in the past and everybody, oh, well, look, she went to W Series and I beat her there for... In a lot of ways, how, do you, how easy is it to put that kind of crap behind you and out of your mind? Um, you know, we had, we had struggles with the car the entire weekend and we just couldn't find, find the issue. So um, I didn't want to pull out at the, in the middle of the weekend when I knew I wasn't going to be able to compete at the, with the guys in the front. Um, so I had a good, good dice with the guys in the mid-pack and we had a, a really fun race. Um, but obviously you can't look at it going, okay, yeah, I've been overseas and I've come back and I'm worse off, you know, because it's not, the fa uh, it's not actually what happened. Um, we tried and we drove a car that we, I hadn't even tested. Um, so it was, you know, I was putting myself in a sticky situation, but I enjoyed the weekend thoroughly and that's what it's about. And getting to race with the guys back in South Africa is always fun. Um, but yeah, we won't say, uh, there, there were, it's not something that I take back as being like a negative thing. Um, I, had a, I had a good time. and that's, that, that's actually what it's about, is having, having a good time, having a blast. And I've, they moan when we move off the strap. Come on, guys, give me some movement here. It's, a, it's not how it rolls. If you want me to stand still, you've got to put me on a chair. Yeah, there's a, you stand straight and get your alignment right. And oh my God. Um, next year, the selections are on now for the rest of your competitors. Um, is there somebody who's in that pack that you think is, boom, there's a new Formula One person? 
Um, they obviously, a lot of the girls who are at the back, well, that finished at the back of the championship aren't necessarily where they should be. Um, they were quite competitive in some rounds. In some rounds, they just got unlucky and had crashes. Um, this is racing, so these things happen. Um, I really want to see Ismi back there because she showed a lot of potential at Brands Hatch. She qualified third, and throughout the season, she was she was really quick. So um, I'd like to see her back, and obviously, I wouldn't mind seeing Naomi back again because we like friendly bases, you know, and um, it's always better to get in for a second season to show that you have the, the capabilities and just being given those chances. One of the things that you were worried about was your fitness going into the season, but you, you surprised some people and you got fitter through the year. So this um, break is not going to be, you're going to work hard in terms of your fitness? Yeah, I mean, I, I actually surprised myself. The first time I got in the F3 car, I couldn't do more than three laps, and we had to complete races for 30 minutes. So um, the first race, I was already, I felt good inside the car for that full 30-minute duration. Um, and I haven't stopped training since I've been back home. So we have to, W Series keeps keeps us on like on point the whole time. They're always monitoring us. We have our uh, fitness coaches as well. They keep an eye on what we're doing. Um, so the, uh, I, I can't rest, basically. So going into next season, I'm hoping to be a little bit stronger, a little bit fitter, and just be able to give it that little bit extra. Awesome. Well, when is the, the, the first race? Uh, we're not sure yet. The calendar for us hasn't been released. Uh, DTM has been, but um, we're not sure yet how many races we're doing and also we're not sure who the, the balance uh, of the drivers are so we're waiting for that. We've got our prize giving at the end of November and uh, I'm sure we'll find out everything then. Tasman, you've given us, I was a skeptic about W Series, I'm sorry, I apologise. I believe in W Series now, I've seen what it's done, it's highlighted a whole, I think the overall um, promise of highlighting drivers to go on um, in other careers I think is magnificent and from Wave Diello and Race Data TV we wish you all the success we really are rooting for you and uh, have fun and do do a great job thanks for all your support and everything you do for local motorsports um, and yeah just keep watching keep supporting and hopefully next year I can do a little bit better <laughs> now you will yeah thank you year two is always better <laughs> yeah. and never stop smiling yeah no I won't don't worry <laughs> Thank Tes you. Tesman, thank you very much for your support. Yeah. I've got a surprise guest for you. Yeah.